of those 10 things you've mentioned, could you now tell us which is considered to be the most serious and sinful act which invalidates the fast? The act which is the most sinful and most serious amongst all of them which invalidated the fast, it is sexual intercourse. That when you have sexual intercourse and when the two private parts meet, then your fast is invalidated, whether ejaculation takes place or not. And you have to repent for that. You have to complete the fast for that day and you have to make it up later and you have to pay a penalty, that's kafara, according to the Sahih Hadith in which a beloved Prophet said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, Hadith number 1936, where a man comes to the Prophet and says that I am ruined. Oh Prophet, I am ruined. The Prophet says, what is the matter? The man says, I had sex with my wife while I was fasting. So the Prophet says that, can you free a slave? So the man says, no, I cannot. Then the Prophet asks, can you fast consecutively for two months? Can you fast continuously for 60 days? The man says, no, I cannot. Then the Prophet says that, can you feed 60 poor people? And the man says, no, and the hadith continues. In short, we come to know from this hadith that if any person does a sexual intercourse, it is one of the major sins, it is the most serious and sinful amongst all the things that break the fast. The person who does this sin, he should immediately repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask for forgiveness. He should complete his fast for that day and make up for that fast later on after Ramadan. And he has to pay a penalty. And the penalty we come to know from this hadith is that he either frees a slave if he can, if he does not have the money to free the slave, or he cannot find a slave to free, then he should fast for two consecutive months. Fast for 60 days. If he cannot do that also, then he should at least feed 60 poor people. And these are the three options that have been given for a person to pay as a penalty, as a kafara. But if a person can do the first thing, he should not jump to the second or the third. The first is freeing a slave. If he cannot do that, if he doesn't have the money or cannot find a slave, then he can go to the next option, that is fasting consecutively for 60 days. If he cannot do that, if he is unable to do that, continuously fasting for 60 days, if he fasts for a few days and then one day he doesn't fast, he should start again. He should fast consecutively for 60 days. If he doesn't have the capacity to do that, then what he can do is he can feed 60 poor people. And each poor person should be fed with approximately half sa. Each sa is equal to three handful of outstretched hand of wheat. So half sa per person or the food that is there of the land. So 60 poor people you should feed. This is the kafara, the penalty for a person who breaks a fast by having a sexual intercourse. The amount of food, just to clarify that, uh, for my own benefit, if you like, do you think that that's equivalent to about a day's food? Yes, in short, it should be a day's food that's normal in that land. It may change in America, it may change in UK, it may change in India. But at that time, it was like one of these says that one man requires half sow of meat. And each sow of meat is outstretched, two hands is outstretched. And the amount of wheat that comes in, that's equal to sa. So half of three. The other hadith says that one mud of meat, that's equal to one outstretched hand of wheat. The other hadith says that equivalent to fill a poor man's appetite, you know, his stomach. So in short, you should feed a poor person, 60 poor people you should feed, approximately what is the food of that land that you should feed him. And if you can't find people in your land who are poor, then you look for the nearest place or? Yes, anywhere. And that's difficult in today's world that you cannot find 60 people to feed. I don't know any place in the world where you cannot find 60 people to feed. <laughs> It may not be a locality, but if you just go to the next locality in your city, surely, in your country, surely you can find. I wish to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may that time come. Ameen, ameen. Which will come, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah.